everyone. I am Jocelyn Igehaliuma, and for today's video, I will going to deliver to you my speech and my life, which in title, "Fabrity is not the hindrance of my dream." So, many of us dreams of helping our parents and getting out of poverty, right? And I'm one of those millions of people, but aside from dreaming of getting out of poverty, I am proud of my parents and what we are. And as Victoriano Cage said, I came from a very poor family and my main dream in life was to break out of this poverty. And that's what I'm aiming for right now. What are your hopes and dreams? What do you want to have or just have someday? All of us are chasing after something. And the thing I am chasing after in is my dreams. Not just for me, but for my family. Everybody is like a battleground. And we must learn how to win every battle of life. Every day, I wake up, I see how my parents work hard to provide for our daily needs and give us a better future. I see how they make everything work, but despite all that, we are happy because we work together and sometimes I need to sacrifice and think practically. I experience that the only money I have is just enough for fear or for my projects in school. Sometimes. I experience sacrificing my snack. Do some of you have been experiencing this? Are you prioritizing what you want over what you need? Maybe only a few of you. Nowadays, we can see how teenagers ways or spend their money and everything they want. Buying new iPhones and trendy t-shirts they don't even know how to value the money they spend well that's how this generation nowadays but yes i can clearly say that i can do what they spending a lot of money not because i did not have a lot of money but because i value it because I see how my parents work hard. For the moment, I work hard for my dreams and chase them. I want to help my parents. And for every problem I encounter, for every sacrifice I made, for every up and down in my life, I make my parents my inspiration and my mirror their hard work for us. My father is a tricycle driver. He get accident many times because of his work. And the worst kind of his accident when I was grade 3. Most of the time, I noticed that even he is so tired and keeps giving his meals, he is still working and I cry silently because I see how he keeps striving so hard just for us. That's why I slowly work for my dreams. Because if we have a dream, 
there is no time to keep it as a dream. We should know and learn to work for it and make it come true. Seeing my parents work hard is my reason for working hard. Striving hard and keeping fighting for my dreams. We should know how to fight for our dreams. And this is my biggest fight in life. To achieve my dreams and help my parents out of poverty. Life is not easy, and it never has been easy. We should know how to be better in order to achieve our goals. We should learn to value money and spend it wisely. And lastly, to make our dreams come true, don't wait for a right time. Work for it and you can achieve it. That's all and thank you especially to our coach, Mr. Michael Mark M. Kaluskusen and God bless.